Ok, ok, guys. You receive, you receive the pre-fire instruction. Recibiste las instrucciones. Protect yourself at all time. Protégete todo el tiempo. Buena suerte. Good luck. And remember, no one is more professional than I. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, this is two really good sportsmen who are ready to go and take each other's heads off. And we will see <laughs> if at the opening bell, they both better. come out it's punching. <laughs> One last drink of water for Wanma in the corner. I thought he was going to forget to do his bull move over there in the uh, in the corner. I was waiting for it, and he finally did an introductory move. I want him to teach me that move sometime. I kind of <laughs> like that. Mikey very confident along the way. He was smiling before the fight, and here we go. Wanma Lopez, screen left. He's the left-hander. Mikey Garcia, the taller fighter, with his back to you right now. Not the defending champion anymore, remember, because he forfeited his title on the scales by weighing it at two pounds over and then electing not to take off the weight, but taking a fine instead with that money going to Juan Lopez. Good little quick left hand by Lopez to get things started. Fans take up a Mikey chant. Mikey needs to do what he does best. That's box and counterpunch. Just be careful with Juanma, he, he, he could punch, you know, with the left hand or right hook. So he's got to be very careful with that. Lopez feels, and it'll be played out tonight. We'll see if it's true or not, but he just feels that Mikey's style is better for him in the ring than was Salido's, who eventually broke him each time with pressure constantly in his face, nonstop. Which Lopez, who had always been the aggressor in fights, was not accustomed to facing. No, he wasn't, but this, uh, you know, he's got to make him fight out. Juanma needs to be a little bit more the aggressor here and be careful at doing it because that's what Mikey's doing. He's weighing the counterpunch. He's weighing up. Pretty much made mistakes. He's creating traps there for him. Garcia looking for that right hand early. There have been, because of the great the knockout record that Lopez boasts, uh, everybody thinks of him at only as a brawler, but that's not true. He can box, and there have been times when I've seen him box quite well. And then he explodes, too. Not to the extent maybe that Mikey Garcia does as long, but... But he can box as well. And he's, he has come out looking to fight an intelligent fight here against Garcia in the first round. And now shows some aggressiveness. Yeah, I think both guys are being very intelligent. And uh, you know, talking to Papa Garcia, he was telling me, as the rounds go, trust me, Juanma's going to feel Mikey's power. He's going to be very surprised how my son punches. And, you know, that's, a bit, that's has, been, has been the problem with, you know, other fighters that he's fought. You know, they feel the power. I mean, looks are deceiving. The kid doesn't look... Like, he's got that kind of power, talking about Mikey Garcia. Right, and, and stylistically, he doesn't indicate it. But then when it happens, it's pretty awesome. Nice little left in there, scraping left hand by Garcia. Lopez tries to answer. Garcia now becoming the aggressor here. Lopez boxing more than most people would have suspected. One round in the books and a very close round. Okay, that's it. That's all we got to do, on. right? You're working good. You Keep working smart. On. That jab, don't forget that jab. Keep the jab in his you face, okay? Yeah. Just don't throw a lazy jab, okay? Yeah. Jab, keep your left hand up high. Jab, step jab. back, okay? No puedes bajar esa mano del jab. No puedes bajar porque te están tratando con el gancho por encima de esa mano. They want him to throw combinations there, uh, Juan Ma Lopez trying to throw combinations. Don't get lazy with the jab. Jab your way in. All right, here we go in round two, scheduled for 12.
featherweight title fight to this extent. If Lopez wins, he's the champion. If Garcia wins, he will not win the championship because he came in overweight. First round, very close. Yeah, that was a very, very close round. I, I give it to Garcia. I think he was a little bit sharper with his shots and a little bit faster, too. Better defense. And uh, his brother Robert said, you know, very good. You know, just uh, don't forget about the jab. Make sure you throw your jab. But not a lazy jab is what he, he doesn't want to exactly. land it out there uh -huh. for Lopez to punch over. And oh, there nice is a one. very good one uh -huh. right there. There's the example of what uh, Robert Garcia was talking about. And a nice counter left by Garcia. He begins to assert himself now in round two. And again, you, you saw Garcia's patience. You know, he, he caught him with a nice one-two, backed up. See how Lopez Juanma uh, reacted to that. And, and Juanma, Rich, has, you know, he's always had a questionable chin. You know, he's, he's been down in his career. Yes, he has. A, even when he was winning fights. Right. Yeah, you remember the fight against Rogers Roger Mikawa. Roger Mikawa, yes. He was terrible. He was out on his feet. Yeah. In the last round. The last round, know, exactly. I don't know how he got through that round, but he did, and he won the decision. But he's very game. Well, now, what is happening here is it appears to me as though, in terms of pace and tempo of the fight, Garcia is establishing the, the right one for him. Yes, he is, and that's because uh, Lopez is it, Juanma is allowing him to do that. And there's another oh. fine left by Garcia, who's having a now decisive second round in his favor. I see a little bit of swelling over uh, under Juanma's left eye. Lopez is going to have to oh. get to work, and he's down from the right hand from Mikey Garcia, the first knockdown of the fight. Not a severe knockdown. Lopez looks over at his corner as Rafael Ramos pulls off the mandatory eight count. Says he's okay. 40 seconds to go in round two. Will Mikey Garcia try to follow up? No, he takes his time. <laughs> Lopez has let Garcia do too much this round while he did not do enough. And he finally got tagged and knocked down. I think Juanma may have to end his uh, boxing strategy here and go for the gusto. But he's got to be careful. You saw what happened when he got get caught. He already tasted a... Uh... Mikey's power that put him down. Two rounds down, and Mikey Garcia goes to the front in this fight. And that's the jab that I'm talking about, uh, what we were talking about, my, uh, Rich. Mikey's strong jab, and he said, here's how he drops him. Real nice and relaxed pace and jab. Oh, quick. It was actually, it was two jabs, and then he just fired that right down the middle. There he goes, pinpoint, I don't right think, on the chin. I don't even think Juanma saw that. His was still oh. had that left jab in, in his face. He blinded him with the jab. Sometimes fighters do that. First jab, second jab, blind you. You throw the lead down the middle. That's what, exactly what happened. You're right, Rich. Now, will this require an adjustment as we get ready for round number three? Will this require an adjustment on the part of Juanma Lopez? Yeah, well, absolutely. Juanma needs to make something happen here. He needs to be more aggressive and don't don't let Mikey think so much. You've got to put Mikey on an uncomfortable situation where you're pushing him back. But it's going to take a lot of work to get there, too. you got to get inside, and you got to throw punches. you got to make take risks. And when he does that, Juanma's going to open up, and that's where Mikey could capitalize on that. To this point, Mikey Garcia looks anything but drained from the weight he looks strong and I think it might even be giving him an advantage here tonight look at uh, Juanma's face both eyes are yeah, I think it looks like both eyes are swelled up now uh, I can see the swelling yeah, from, from underneath uh -huh. the left eye it's pushing up certainly from underneath. Lopez, I think, is going to have to get low and go to the body some here and try to slow Mikey Garcia down. 
He can't find a way inside. He can't find a way to get within punching room. No, he needs to give him some feints and, and jab his way in with three or four jabs. Everything is coming up short so far for Lopez. Yeah, he's just too far away from him. Look at look at Mikey. Look at his uh, time and look at his how patient he is in there. Starting to put his combinations together. His one twos oh. with the right cross following the jabs are something that are he, he just beautiful that, to watch. Yeah, he just did that check left hook. Mikey did. There's a good left hand by Juan Mo Lopez. One mild punch by Juanma, however, does not wipe out what Mikey Garcia has been accomplishing in the last two rounds. First round was close, but since then it's been all Mikey. Another left jab and another left jab by Garcia. It's a beautiful thing to see. That jab the way that he's throwing it. Hard. Snapping it out. Just snapping uh, Juanma's head back. I'll tell you what, you, you know, you get... Talking about Juanma, you, you got to think about it. The way he's getting hit with them jabs, and he knows he's got to work himself in. He's got to really think and be able to say, you know, I got, I'm going to have to take some hard punches to get in there and work myself in. Warning from Rafael Ramos. Lopez a little bit wild coming in. Swelling becoming a problem on that left eye for Lopez. Juanma starting to throw, but getting a little bit desperate. Yeah, I tell you what, I know it's, it's probably the third round, but I don't see this fight going 12 rounds because, uh, first of all, look, look at Juanma's eyes. It, I don't think they're going to last that. They, they don't get a, they're not going to keep open. Another left hand. For 12 rounds. Guys. A dominant yeah. round for Mikey Garcia. <laughs> round four, one knockdown in the fight so far, scored by Mikey Garcia on Juanma Lopez. Problem for... Lopez is he's not getting enough work done to slow down Mikey. If uh, Mikey Garcia was going to have any problems from his attempted weight loss, they haven't shown up because Lopez so far is not making him work. He's not making him work hard enough. He's not battle banging to the body, which I, I believe he needs to do. Now he leans on Garcia. Yeah, Juanma really getting desperate there. I saw a sign of desperation there, and, and he was just swinging wild and, and missed there. He's going to run into Mikey's straight shots. Oh, oh. Juanma was fooling around with his Man. hands, and Mikey Garcia that. made him pay for it. Now Lopez tries to open up. Runs into a punch high up high in the chest from Mikey Garcia, and a beautiful jab by Garcia as Lopez trying to fight more aggressively, but he's being made to pay for it. Chasing after Mikey, but uh, tell you, Lopez is aggressive, but he is running into shots. And missing, too. Missing every shot. Oh, Lopez got poleaxed by a right hand, and then a follow-up left, and down he goes, flat on his back, and this time he is really hurt. Grabs onto the ropes to try to steady himself, but I think he might be out of it, and he is. The fight is over, and Mikey Garcia, in a spectacular performance, has stopped Juanma Lopez. Yeah, there was no need for uh, Juanma to continue. He's a guy that has been given a lot of punishment throughout his career, and uh, I mean, that's the way a guy really gets hurt. Uh, Rich, I think that was a good stoppage there by uh, the referee. He just hit him a smashing right and then followed with the left that sent him flat on his back. We'll take a look at it here, Raul. There's that first right that I mentioned. Oh, look at him. And there's the finisher. Flat on his back, yeah. but look at the bravery of Juan Malopez to get up. It was that overhand right there. Yeah, it discombobulated yeah. him. And that, that messes you up. You know, when you get hit right there, your balance is completely out. That was a big punk by Mikey Garcia. And, uh, you know, on top of that, from the beginning, Juanma, the second round on up, he was he was completely lost. He just couldn't find him. Uh, Mikey was too accurate for him, too fast. Mikey could see every shot he threw. And, uh, you know, he was just desperate. I mean, I... 
Yeah. Might be the end of uh, Juanma's career, guys. Very possibly. You can see how wobbly he was. Rafael Ramos looked in his eyes. Lopez gave him his gloves, but it was not to be. And Mikey Garcia, as cool as could possibly be, just comes in and, as we mentioned, a great finisher. When he gets that opportunity, he just takes advantage of it. And still calm, cool, collected. And of course, he just Ladies has that mild personality. Here's Michael the Buffer. comes in round number four, the official time, one minute, 35 seconds. The winner by knockout victory. His record now goes to 32 and 0, perfect with 27 KOs from Moreno Valley, California. The fighting pride of Oxnard. He is Miguel Angel, Mikey. Garcia! Tonight, the fans were in his corner. Juan Malopez coming here from Puerto Rico. Was uh, kind of the enemy tonight, but nonetheless, 